After the recent wildfire seasons that Western North America has experienced, it goes without saying. Climate change has contributed to longer, hotter, drier seasons, and that's meant an increase in wildfire activity. But there are many pieces to the puzzle, and finding the right solution will mean getting all the data. And that's why new research from the University of New Mexico is adding beetles to the equation. That's because climate change has also meant insect outbreaks, along with drought stresses and temperature increases, and that's caused large swaths of dead trees and forests. And ultimately, those dead fuels are drying out in the rising temperatures, making them more available to burn. You got it. We found another feedback loop. In fact, the amount of energy stored in forests that's available for release from fire depends on the amount of water stored in live and dead biomass. And fuel moisture of dead biomass is more responsive and fire prone than live biomass. So the combined effects of tree mortality and rising temps could be responsible for the substantial energy release that has characterized modern wildfires. Here's some numbers that put it into context. In the Sierra National Forest, an estimated 36 million trees have died from drought and bark beetle mortality over the past five years, which is approximately 25% of the forest. In the area where the Creek Fire burned, one of California's all-time biggest fires, a report estimates 80% of the trees were already dead. As you move trees from the live column to the dead column because of insects and drought, they're not taking up water the way a live plant does. They hold a lot less water and become more available to burn. It's similar to building a campfire. Dry wood makes a better fire than wet wood. But adding beetles and drought to the climate equation will help make faster, better decisions. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.